Welcome back to another episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. This is your host, Coach Danny, and today we're talking about day 47, Friday, May 8th. All right, guys, for our warm up, we'll be doing a 200 meter jog or one minute of jumping jacks, followed by three rounds, five side lunges per side, five single arm ring or towel rows per side, 10 glute bridges, 10 push ups with reach, and 10 sit ups. From there, we'll go into our strength work, which should take roughly 30 minutes to complete. For our sum equipment and full gym variations, with either dumbbell, kettlebell, or a barbell, you'll be doing four sets of three reps of push or split jerks, followed by four sets of two rep of split or push jerks, so eight sets total. If you're using a barbell, use the same weight for all sets. So you're starting at a heavy weight, not working your way up. So use your, um, you know, take some warm up time to do some reps at lower weights and take, you know, moderate jumps until you get to that 80 to 90 percent and then start your sets. If you're using a dumbbell or kettlebell um, and only have one, make sure you're performing the prescribed reps per side. Um, if you have two, go ahead and use two for all of them. You'll be supersetting that with eight sets of five reps, single leg, dumbbell, or kettlebell deadlift, and you can keep the challenge the same with all sets. For our no equipment variation, you'll be doing a 30 minute EMOM alternating between the options. So minute one will be six to eight strict pike push-ups or handstand push-ups. Minute two will be five single leg deadlifts on one side. Minute three will be five single leg deadlifts on the other side. Minute four will be 30 seconds of hollow or bent hollow rocks. And minute five will be rest. Okay, so you'll repeat that through for 30 minutes, which is six rounds total. From there, we go into our Metcon double hull. Three rounds for time for everyone. Our full gym variation is 15 power snatches at um, 135, 85, or 85, 55. Of course, use what you have available and can use safely. Um, if you're not able to safely power snatch due to mobility or something with your shoulder, etc., you can modify to power cleans to the front rack instead. From there, you have 15 overhead squats with the same weight, but again, modify to front squats if necessary, and then a 500 meter row. If you do not have a rower, go ahead and do five rounds of 20 double unders or 30 single unders and eight of our up down kick throughs. Follow that up with one minute rest and repeat for two more rounds. For our sum equipment variation, you'll be doing 24 dumbbell power snatches, alternating arms as desired then 20 single arm dumbbell overhead squats using the same weight, but you can modify to dumbbell front squats if necessary. And then five rounds of 20 double unders or 30 single unders. If you don't have a rope, you can go ahead and do um, jumping jacks or high scissor jumps. Follow that with eight up down kick throughs and one minute of rest before repeating for two more rounds. For our no equipment variation, we have 24 frog jumps. 20 side lunges or Cossack squats, noting that left and right equals one rep. And then we have five rounds of 20 high scissor jumps and eight up down kick throughs, followed by one minute of rest. For our coaching notes for today, for no equipment, make sure that you're being explosive on your frog jumps. Go for max height and reset your feet between each rep. Be slow and controlled for your side lunges and focus on your depth and keeping your shin as upright as possible as well as your heel on the floor. Push hard on the last part because you get a minute of rest. For our sum equipment variation, pace your snatches so you can go right into overhead squats for a big set. If you can do overhead squats better with one shoulder than the other, it's okay to use that one more than the other side. If you can't do them well at all, just keep the dumbbell in the front rack position. Push hard on the last part because you get a minute of rest. For our full gym variation, pace your snatches so you can go right into overhead squats for a big set. Consider resting the bar on your back as opposed to putting it on the floor if possible so you don't have to snatch it back up. Push the pace on your snatches and overhead squats so you can get to the rower quickly, but start the row conservatively and speed up as you pass that halfway mark. Our goal for today is 10 to 15 minutes, about four minutes per round. All right, guys, if you have any questions, reach out to your coach and we will see you tomorrow.